believe I done came up here on a day I ain't supposed to go to school. Guess it's time to make y'all a video today. Woohoo! Let's go! What's going on? You already know who it is. I am your 30 something year old college student, and um, I have another one for you guys. So, um, I'm th this is the way I'm going to be bringing it to y'all guys from now from now on. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. I know y'all can't really see it right now. So, summer's here, and I'm taking one summer class, which you see is public speaking, right? That's what I do. A good thing about this is that I never took any type of education material when it came when it comes to public speaking. I have gotten all my public speaking by by mentors, by seminars, by by getting thrown into the fire. That means doing it. That means going there and doing it. I've spoke in front of hundreds of people and, you know, standing ovations, people and crying and everything. So I think I'm pretty confident with my speaking. But to actually get some type of teaching, I am actually looking forward for this class, to be honest. But I just want to go over the syllabus. That's all I want to do is just go over the syllabus with you guys so as you can see summer 2022 public speaking three credits on um, meet thursday from 9 30 a.m to 12 20 p.m um and this is summer class you see it goes from today which is actually yesterday so it's yesterday for you guys because this video will come out tomorrow um, to July 27 or whatnot. As you can see, I done went through some of the stuff and done. So that's why I wanted to go over the syllabus because um, I'm it, 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 it's getting me happy. It's getting me very, very excited about some of the things um, that I'm saying in the syllabus. See, the thing with me is I like slash love getting pushed out of my comfort zone. And especially if it's learning if it's learning and somebody can help you out i love getting pushed out of my comfort zone so the way i speak i am very comfortable with how i with how i speak with how i dress how i present myself but it's also great to take some classes that can help you out um there's some things that i promise you i'm going to learn in this class that that i do not know and i'm so thankful that i'm in this class so um that's just mostly giving you course information names time and stuff and dates and everything and whatnot on um, course description uh, it says this course provides instruction experience and preparation and delivery of speeches with a public setting and a group discussion it's an emphasis is placed on research preparation delivery and evaluation of uh dang what's that word informative ha <laughs> ha i said it informative on um, persuasive and special occasion public speaking uh, upon completion student should be able to prepare and deliver well organized speeches and participate in group discussions with appropriate auto visual support right and it said this course has been approved. So that's some other stuff. And like just even that, just me, just me reading that gets me excited because it's so formal. And if you hear me speak, I am the least formal person. Um, but I would need this. I know I'm gonna need this, and I want this. I just want more. Um, so let's go to prerequisites. Um um, book stuff that's going to be required that's going to be on uh, student learning outcome oh that's what it is this is in the syllab syllabus i gotta go back and do that thing student learner outcome this is um hey demonstrate ability to select and narrow a topic of uh, uh, a topic appropriate for the audience occasion demonstrate the ability to organize a message including an introduction body transition um and conclusion effectively demonstrate how to collect and use adequate and appropriate support including visual aid for a speech demonstrate the ability to deliver a speech through verbal and nonverbal channels effectively demonstrate the ability to use language effectively and appropriately for the topic audience and occasion demonstrate awareness 
that communication is culturally I think I said that right. Co- co- yeah, culturally, I don't think that's culturally. Co- culturally, y'all know what it is. Culturally relative. Probably, I'm probably am right. Core skills and or program outcome assessments requirements. Um, like I said, I'm just going through the syllabus right now. I want y'all to see what I'm what I'm in for. Um, because I am going to take y'all on this ride. Only way you're not going to get taken on this ride if I make a decision to back out, and and that is a strong possibility. Um, I'm going to speak to my teacher, um, in the um, beginning of the class, and see what all I have to do because I am in I am in the transition of a job. I'm going from working um 24 hours a day to 45. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said a day. I'm going from working 24 hours every two weeks to working 40 hours a week. That's a big jump. And with everything that I have going in my life, you know, opening the gym, um, speaking with this, um, speaking with this group, I'm a mentor um, at a nonprofit organization. Uh, I'm trying to see. If 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 I need to do this right now, because I'm in a major transition, um, I'm gonna try to figure it out. I'm gonna try to figure it out, work work um, work it out somehow. That's why I'm only taking one class this summer, um, just so like I, I'm pretty sure I should be able to do it. But I have a lot of things going on, so the only way you will not be on this path, this journey with me, if I drop this class. But let's pray that I don't drop this class. Like core skills, outcome, or communication. I'm not gonna read everything. I'm just gonna read the um the bold print. Um, it says, um, or communication, potential core skills, uh, artifacts for the course, um, uh, intercultural, um, compensants. I think I said that right, guys. Y'all gonna have to excuse me on the words. I'm I'm you know I'm just becoming into my reading. Um, I never been a big reader and never been a person that was able to um to to look at words that I never seen and break it down. That's what I'm learning now. That's another reason why I am in school. I am in school because I want to better myself, guys. I know you can better yourself too. Um where is that? Program learning outcomes, um, e portfolio. Uh, methods of evaluation. That's how we're gonna get graded. Speech delivery, fifty percent. Um, written assignments, thirty percent, and then uh, additional assignments, twenty percent. So, um, yeah, grade scaling. I'm gonna be in that A, that ninety to a hundred. I'm gonna have a a hundred, and I'm gonna be in that A. We ain't even going through the B, C, Ds, and Fs and stuff. So, um, this right here is what I really I, I want. I wanted to read you guys. Let me see. Let me see if it's down here. Actually, it's 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 number four. Um, but we're getting to it academic integrity um that's just basically the rules this is the rules of the class slash um the college college policy and things like that uh, attendance you know in a nutshell i cannot miss i cannot miss class or not turn in any work um in 14 days no not in 14 days i cannot go 14 days without attending class or turning in work if i do not turn in any work or if i do not go to class i get kicked out of school well i don't get kicked out of school they they kick me from that class which you can say kick out of school because if i don't do that then that means they kick me out of all my classes and in this case i only have one class you feel me um so yeah if now 13 days come up and i turn and work on the 13 on that on the 13th day i'm good that's just that's just their policy. No questions asked. Um, and then the thing is, though, another reason why that I said that I might be dropping out is because this is summer classes. This is really a 16 week class um, crammed into eight weeks. So that means I'm going to be double the trouble of work. I'm going to have double the trouble of work. And, and um, I don't know if I can do it. I, I don't know if I want to cram such an important elective class um in eight in in eight weeks i don't know we'll see we'll fit we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out I, I think about this um oh here we go this is what i want this is what i wanted to read um in a class <coughs> if a student 
fails to maintain attendance for a period uh, a period of equivalent. Not that, that's not that's what I was just telling y'all about the two weeks. You see the right there in the red, the two uh, um two two week calendar, fourteen consecutive days. Yeah, so that's not. So this is this is this is right here, right here. Oh, uh, hold on, is this it? I don't even think the acid. No, it's right there. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Right here, this is one thing. I wanted I wanted to read this. It says, this is one thing. For the purpose of this policy, attendance at the college um, in blended slash hybrid slash high flats um, classes include. Now, let me. I just want to break this down with, with high flats. High flats um, is they made this up due to COVID, right? They made this up due to COVID. So, high flats is I have an option. I have three options, right? I can either... Come to class, I can get on Teams. Teams is the online class to where when a teacher is having a class, I can get on this 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 app and I'm right there. I'm looking at the teacher. Almost like Zoom, basically, is what we're doing. They call it Teams for the college, though. Well, they don't call it Teams. Teams is actually its own thing. So I can do that. Or... I can just turn and work at my own time, at my own leisure. I have them three options. It ain't either or. Is I can do one of the three at any point in time. So that's what high flex is, and that's why that it was implemented. Um, but it said the purpose of the policy, you know, um, physically attending the seated class or participating in a in a virtual. Uh, secrets, uh, secret, I don't know. I'm going to say synchronized. I think it's synchronized class. I don't know. Y'all help me out. Y'all let me know if that word is right. Uh, submitting an academic assignment, taking or submitting an exam or create on quiz, completing an interactive tutorial, participating in an online study group assignment by faculty slash instructor, participating in an online discussion form slash board assign, assigned by faculty or, or instructor. And the last one, number seven, students um, initi initiated, or oh, I don't know, documents, I think, I think that's what it is, documented contact with the faculty member, and then that in parentheses, guys. Um, last but not least, this, um, man, this right here, classroom policies and procedures. Guys, I want y'all to think of these policies and procedures because I'm in a speaking class. And with me being in a speaking class, it has its own policy and, and procedures on top of the common policies and procedures. But guys, I, I, I want to read this. Did I even get finished reading it? Yes, I did. I did. So here we go. Here we go. Number one, all cell phones are to be put away in silence while in the classroom. That is obvious. You don't want the teacher to be up there talking or a student giving a presentation and your phone is bling, bling, bling. You don't want that to happen because my phone actually just went off. And everything, but luckily I have it uh, on vibrate to wait. Y'all didn't hear it, so all right. Number two, students are expected to come to class on time for each class meeting. That's just part of the policy. A lot of people think when you go to college, you can just come in class whenever you want. Um, you kind of do have some leeway because you can do work on your own leisure. But if you come to class, if you're gonna go to the class, or if you're gonna get on Teams. Get there on time. There's a lot of stuff that the teacher is trying to teach you guys. There's a lot of stuff that they want to give you. And and, and and most of the time, the first 30 minutes is the vital. And this is a three-hour class. So I'm pretty sure the first hour and a half is going to be some real stuff. Um, Yeah, yeah. Number three, attendance will be taken in each class via sign-in sheet to get counted as present. The sign-in sheet must be signed at the end. Uh, I mean, must be signed at each class meeting. All right, self-explanatory. Number four, students will be dropped from the class due to excessive absence. We talked about that earlier in the video. Number five, the last day for students uh, initiate, initiated withdrawal is July 12, 2022. That means July, that means basically... I have a month and a half 
to pull out of this class um, and nothing, nothing get counted against me. So, like I said, I have some time. Um, the only thing I would be is wasting time, but I have some time. All right, number six, please remember that there are no late work, including speech deliveries in this class. Okay, if, if I miss it, I miss it. You hear what they say? If I miss it, I miss it. If I don't turn it in, I get a fat zero. And they said something in there that 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 I want to, I, 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 ooh, ooh, I got to find it if it's not in here because it, oh man, it just brings it home. But all right, anyway, um, number seven. All students must attend class on the date assigned for a speech presentation. If a student is absent on the on the day slash dates um, set to present a grade. Here you go. This is what I want to hear. I want y'all to really get this in your mind. A grade of zero will be earned for the delivery portion of the speech. This must be, I mean, uh, well, I guess it ain't the must be. Like, it must be a dire emergency to make up a speech death in the family or sickness that must have a doctor's note hey i put emphasis on that earned because if you get a zero you earn that zero it's not the teacher fault it's your fault everything in life what you get you earn if you go out and you kill somebody you earn a life sentence in prison right so i want you to think of the word earn earn can be good and earn, I ain't gonna say earn. Um, earn can be bad, but what I'm saying is, is, it's on both sides. Just when you hear the word earn, you always think of something good. You always think that you're earning something good, but no, you can you can earn consequences, and some of them consequences is bad consequences. There are good consequences, there are bad consequences, depending on you. And that's why I like what she said right there. She said, "Look, look, look. I want you to say, if a student is absent on that." If a student's absent on that day, dates set to present, a grade of zero will be earned. Woo, I love that. That that is so powerful. Let's move on. Number seven. This is this this is the one that I said that I'm glad that is that is pushing me. It said professional dress is required for speeches. For I mean for speech presentation delivery and quotation no flip flop i hate flip flop i'm gonna have a video about flip flops but no flip flops jeans sneakers t-shirts etc i'm a i'm a sweatpants sneaker t-shirt kind of person that's who i am i cannot tell you when when the last time i put on a, i put on a suit i think in 2010 guys i think i think it was 2000 actually maybe maybe in 2012 but that was for a wedding, right? Um, so that so that means they pushing me out of my comfort zone, guys. They pushing me out of my comfort zone, meaning I don't wear suits. I don't really wear hard bottoms. Like at this point in my life, I really don't. But for my presentation, I can't wear jeans. I can't wear sneakers. I can't wear a t-shirt. This teacher is real about her class, and I'm for it. I'm here. I'm here for all of it. I I I I I, I am excited for this all right number eight all chapters must be read before the class is discussed okay that's cool um number nine students must show uh civility towards classmates as as we will discuss and explore a sensitive subject matter and we must show each one courtesy and respect to one another i mean that's just self-explanatory everybody these people are gonna be going to be present on uh, doing their presentation in front of us and she just want us to respect one another and the last one is just all emails will come through Stu. that's an email you know you ain't got to worry about that but guys this is the syllabus this is the syllabus and and i appreciate you i appreciate you for being on this journey with me uh, i am so excited i am Head, head over heels for this class i know it's just an elective but but me being a speaker me being a public speaker i am looking forward for this class guys i'm also looking forward for you to go down in the comment section and 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 just conversate with me i will hit you back on the messages guys guys you know who it is i am your boy neil freaking legend and i am also your 30 something year old college student and i'm out Peace.